Hey folks, Dan Takashi here. So today after the market closed, we had Amazon report earnings and it was bad, not good. Uh, stock is down 7.44% after hours. It's getting destroyed, guys. That's hurting the NASDAQ. And guys, I want to talk today about what type of tech stock shock we are in. Tech stock shock, try to say that quick. This week, we've had a lot of tech stock earnings here. Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, etc. Google, most of them have been disappointing. The Nasdaq is looking a little dangerous. It's looking a bit scary. Let's go over today, Amazon earnings, what we can expect in the short term right now from this tech stock market, and especially looking at Amazon and the Nasdaq, and let's see what's gonna happen in the market here. Uh, those of you new to my channel, my name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street trader. Would appreciate if you guys press the subscription button, the notification, and the like button below. Would so much appreciate your support. Today is currently Tokyo, Japan time. It is July the 30th, and it is 3.27 p.m., meaning that it is still New York Eastern time zone, 2.27. 27 a.m. Uh, guys, just as a uh, update, um, usually I do uh, these videos with a lot of different type of trading lingo. It might be a lot, it might be overwhelming for those of you who are new to investing. If you want to review some of the previous videos in the past, feel free to check them out in the description area below, especially on how to use charts. It can be a little bit complicated, a little bit technical, but if you look through some of the previous videos, I think it will help you make money longer term to the point that you don't even need to have a real job, say a real job. You don't need to have a boss. You don't need to be going to work. You don't need to work for a company. You could work for yourself if you learn how to master the stuff. So that's my personal take. But if you're curious, feel free to check it out. It's all free below. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's first go over these Amazon earnings and let's talk about what type of earnings impact this is having on the market so today we see here amazon posts third 100 billion quarter in a row that sounds awesome but still misses expectations incredible right you make that much money but nope it's missing expectations here so we saw revenue came in at 113.08 billion holy crap man that is a lot of money versus 115.2 billion which is what analysts were expecting according to refinitive it's like nope that's just not good enough we were expecting a lot more it's all about expectations guys what is the market expecting versus what happens that's how markets move it's not about the actual number it's about expectations so right now we came in below expectations here uh even though the earnings came in 15.12 dollars versus 12.3 according to analysts earnings blew it out of the roof but revenue came in lower and at the end of the day wall street cares more about revenue because that's top of the line and that is actually showing growth and it's showing right now that right now just looking through this here it seems like the post coronavirus situation is not going to be as good as the coronavirus situation. Hong Kong with reporters, Amazon CFO Brian Olavsky blamed tough year on year comparisons due to its business during COVID-19 lockdowns. So during the lockdowns, Amazon did spectacular. Now lockdowns are starting to end and Amazon is not doing so well. I think this is kind of a no brainer here, but it's starting to echo with Facebook, Apple. It said quarterly earnings just earlier this week that revenue growth rates would decelerate from the pandemic high. So we're seeing a a bit of a trend here guys all these stocks came out with earnings and so far they're not looking so hot as in the future it doesn't look so good as it was in the past so the past was so good now it looks like things are starting to tail off here so let's go through some of the stuff on a technical basis what type of impact are we in what type of impact is this going to have on the nasdaq and overall on the markets here so let's look at these chart analysis tools guys again like i said before if you're new to this stuff if you want to review, check them out in the description area below. It will help you make money. It's helped me make money. I haven't had a boss or job since I was like 21 years old. So I'm not that smart. It's just learning how to use these charts, being disciplined and learning how to invest. And this could be a full time career if you choose so. So feel free to check it out in the below description area. All right, let's get started, guys. Amazon, first and foremost, guys, even before these earnings came out, I felt like this chart looked pretty dangerous here. This is looking like a double top even before and the MACD was already going down. So it was already in a dangerous situation. Now it's going to get clobbered here and it's going to go down 7.44% or so. That's not good. Do note, guys, if you look at the NASDAQ components here, the weights of the NASDAQ here, we see that Amazon has the third highest weight at 8.465%. That's a big chunky weight. So if this goes down 7.44%, 
that's going to be quite an impact in the market overall right away. So that is overall right away impacting the market. But it's not just Amazon here. It's some of these other tech stocks we have to be aware of. So Apple, Microsoft, these earnings came out and they didn't look so hot. And these are also some big weights. Apple has 11.18% weight in the Nasdaq 100. Microsoft has about 10%. And we look at these charts here, guys. These are looking ugly, man. Ugly, ugly. Look at Apple. That looks like a well, it's a it's a it's a cliche double top one two double top and it's an M pattern here. So that looks like it's going down to me. And that looks like the MACD is also going down here. Looking at Microsoft as well. Microsoft, not an M pattern, but it's two engulfing candles in a row here on the 27th and on the 28th. That also looks pretty dangerous to me. So we need to watch out for that. So these top three weights right now in the Nasdaq all right now, not looking so hot guys. Also so Facebook had great earnings and then it's going bro and just drop 4%. So right away, we're seeing some of these big four names right here. They are all big weights in the NASDAQ and they're getting destroyed. I think this is going to continue to have an impact on the NASDAQ and we need to watch out. So guys, let's do a uh, quick synopsis. Let me give you my opinion on what I think you should be doing right now. And let me give you my opinion on I think the risk situation we're in at the moment. So guys, as usual, investing is and always will be self responsibility, guys, please do take note that whatever I say, take it with a grain of salt. Of course, take what anybody says with a grain of salt, guys, you want to get a lot of information from different sources. Don't sit in the echo chamber and just listening to one, two people that agree with you. Try to get a diversity of information. That's the best way to make good decisions is hear lots of different opinions. So again, that is my my recommendation and I also recommend divide your investment up into long term and short term investments for your portfolio. Long term is for retirement and short term is for anywhere between a few days to few months following the trends and doing technical analysis. You don't need to do this as a full time job all the time. It's just when you have time and when you see a juicy trend. So right now, guys, I am continuing to think that into, let's say, August, September, November, November, in the next few months, we got a bit of volatility coming here. Tapering is a real risk. Now, on top of that, we got earnings. These tech stock earnings are not looking good. So I think if you have tech stocks in this green area, take your position down. Let's say you normally got 50 to 60 percent in stocks. Take it down to 40 percent. I think that's a great idea, especially in the tech stocks. In short term investing, I am shorting the Nasdaq as a hedge and I think I'm going to short more because looking at the charts right now, this looks ugly. And guys, looking at positioning, I use ID securities to track position. Check out the link below if you guys are curious. Only 60% of clients right now are short. It's definitely not in a fear territory right now. It's got loads of room to go down here. Also looking at the short interest rate ratio here just to see if there is any danger of short squeeze. Right now, the short squeeze score for QQQ, the Nasdaq, according to Fintel, is only 53.87. So guys, that's sitting right in the middle. There's no danger of this short squeeze here. It's not showing any sign of fear here. I think that we got lots of room to go down. We need to be careful. And I think that what I'm going to do right now is before I was just selling a little bit just as a hedge, just like it is insurance policy, one to two, three percent of my portfolio. I'm going to take this up to like five, six, seven percent. I'm going to short more because it's not just about protecting myself. Now I actually think the trend is going down. So now it becomes from a hedge to an actual position trade. So this right now change, I think is really important for people to understand. Before it was just a hedge, just a little bit as a hedge, just in case the markets go down, I want to protect my long term portfolio. Now it's a position trade. Now I actually think, yeah, it looks like Nasdaq is going to continue to go down from here. And this is a great time to make some money. So if you want to do ETFs, CFDs, futures, whatever fits your boat, do it and do it with some caution. Of course, knowing that you got to keep your positions always to a max of five to 10%. I'm thinking about five to 7% of my net worth, maybe going into this. So not a humongous portion, but still enough that it's going to make a dent. If the Nasdaq does go down, I'll make some money. So that's what I'm thinking, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's content. If you did, please press the subscribe button as well as the notification button and the like button below. I love you guys all have a great Friday, great weekend, and I will give you guys an update soon. Thanks so much.